Nestled on the wet Sunday coast of Australia, 50 minutes from not only Early Beach, but Whitehaven Beach, the most visited beach in the world, Heart Reef and numerous other world-class diving locations, is the town of Bowen, the backyard of the World Heritage Great Barrier Reef. Bowen is also home to the Abbott Point Coal Port and Bowen Basin, and adjacent to the top of the Galilee Basin. This photograph shows the Abbott Point coal loading facility after a coal spill in 2017, with coal water runoff moving into the adjacent wetlands. It is estimated the Galilee Basin holds 27 billion tonnes of coal. It is one of the largest known coal reserves on the planet. It holds CSG reserves as well. The opening of the Galilee Basin by the Adani Carmichael Mine Project could release 705 million tonnes of carbon into the atmosphere every year. This is 1.3 times Australia's annual emissions. Footage shows how much coal leaves the four coal mines operating at the top of the Bowen Basin every hour. These trains run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They haul 80 to 100 wagons and each train carries approximately 8,000 tonnes of coal. This adds up to 25 million tonnes a year exported from Abbott Point Port. The Adani Carmichael Mine proposes to extract and export an additional 15 to 27 million tonnes from this port. Work began in 2019 on the rail line from the Adani Carmichael Mine site 
to the existing rail line to Abbott Point. The immediate threat to the reef from dredging to expand Abbott Point has been reduced by constant pressure from protests since 2012. But if the amount of coal trains increase, then so will the amount of coal ships which travel through the reef. Damage from these ships hitting the reef is irreparable. This scenario could also result in oil spills detrimental to any ecosystem, especially an already threatened reef. Fossil fuels accounts for more than 50% of climate pollution and 89% of global CO2 emissions come from this industry. There is an urgent need to accept that we have sped up natural cycles and we must transition as quickly as possible out of fossil fuel use before we are past the point of no return. They can expect um, an increasing flood of people coming out of the woodwork from all over Australia, possibly from all over the world, committed to taking non-violent direct action at every opportunity they can. I come from a coal mine family and it's a coal mine town. I worked in the coal mines in various places for 30 years. I've seen the ups and downs of the coal mine industry. I've seen the damage that it does. The may certain 
judgment since on the actual value of coal mining. That's why I'm prepared to be here and I'll go and chain myself to a bulldozer and impede progress if I can.